what it really is, is there's, there's three different tiers. The first tier is getting really a, a fourth tier is getting set up to build corporate credit. And what that means is you got to be legit. You got to become a legit company that when creditors are looking at you, they're looking at a company, a business that you actually have a business, not a sole proprietorship, not working out of your, just your home. You can work out of your home, but you're going to need a virtual office or some kind of address. That's a professional address. You're going to want a 411 listed number. That's a business line. That's dedicated to that, not a cell phone number. You're going to want, these simple little steps that are going to set the template up. You're going to set up a Dun and Bradstreet account, which uh, you don't. When you go on the site, and I talk about it in the book, don't let them talk you into an eighteen hundred dollar oh program package that they're going to try and sell you. You can get a free number, a Dun and Bradstreet number for free. That Dun and Bradstreet is the basis for building your corporate credit, because there's business experience, Equifax, and there's Dun and Bradstreet. You can get accounts like Quill, like you're talking about, or Uline, or Granger, or any of these that you can get started on 30 day net accounts that they'll offer to any new business. And what that means is you're going to, you're going to get an account and you're going to get so much and you got to pay it off within 30 days. So get an account and buy something with it. You got to exercise the credit. So you're going to buy a, like you say, a box of staples or staplers or anything that you need for your office. People are going to need office stuff. So figure it out. If not get with somebody else that needs something and say, buy it through my account. So there's different ways to solve it. You know, in other words, think out of the box if you, if you will, but you're going to exercise it and then you're going to want to pay off your, pay the account off about a week before it's due. Paying on time is the number one thing in business credit. And that's, if you know that part, you can accelerate building your Paydex score. It's, it's based on 100 points. You want to get to an 80. That's like a 750 FICO score for your company. Once you get to an 80 Paydex score, that opens the keys to the next tier. Now you're going to get office. Uh, you're, going to, you're going to get vendor account. Then you're going to get store credit. You're going to get store credit. You start exercising that. Staples, Home Depot, Lowe's, Dell Computers, all these different things. You're going to apply for maybe exp- – uh, some gas cards. Maybe you're a trucking company. There's all these different accounts. You want to get to about 10 to 12 active accounts that are reporting. From there, and you got an 80 paydex score, you're building your experience scores. If you got good personal credit, go get some business credit cards. Start exercising that as well because then they'll report to Experian and Equifax. Pretty soon you get to that third tier and they're offering you credit. Now you're able to get a master card at Sam's Club without a personal guarantee. This is, not, this is not even based on your personal. But more importantly, leveraging that along with a strong personal credit is going to unlock lines of credit and different lending options that you can't even imagine now. And people think, well, I just need 100000 for this. And I'm like, well, what's 100000 going to be for? And they're like, well, I need to buy some equipment. And I, need to th- I said, why don't you lease the equipment? Why don't you, you don't need that 100000 in capital. You might just need those accounts to be set up to where you can finance it and track it through your tax ID as opposed, this is the thinking you got to think. The tax ID is the social security for your business, for your company, for the, uh, the legal entity we talked about, your legal person that you're, the avatar that you're, you know, using in the system of uh, capitalism. So you're going to use that as the vehicle and now you're going to start borrowing under that. Why is that important? And you, you mentioned this. I want 4% instead of 12%. Well, the 4%, you can't necessarily write off on taxes, but 100% of that 12%, again, go to your CPA. I'm not a CPA, so I'm not trying to you know, talk about that. But I do know this, that business expenses are all tax writable if you track them and you account for them. So pay your quarterly taxes. Show, show all your revenue. You might be offering at, uh, operating at a deficit like most companies, like Amazon, for instance. They were at a, in the red for the first five years of their company. They were all based on credit and futures. They started as an online bookstore. And now they're the biggest conglomerate in the world. And now that Jeff Bezos is the richest man in the world right now, which may or may not be true because we know the Rothschilds and those families and things that run the central banks are, but they're never going to list that on the floor. Yeah, you're never going to know that. Read, yeah. read, the, read some books, read the creature from Jekyll Island and you'll learn about that. Right. Well, that's a, again, we could go into too much about that and we don't we're not sure we want to, but the, the bottom line is everybody can do what we're saying right here. Everybody can build your business credit. If, you're, if your personal credit is crap and you want to start building credit, you can do it. You know, and, and again, we, we're, we have resources to help you. There's education. Get my book. Download our free guide on our website. Uh, talk to Chris. He's been through it. Get some mentor that's going to walk you through the process because there, you will have questions. You will have things. And always look at everything. It's not a cost to you anymore. This is an investment that you want to get a return on and I want to write off on my taxes because every business expense, whether it's education or whether I get a program or a coaching program, 
it, it's going to be writable because you're giving back to the economy. Get it out of your head that you're taking advantage of anything. This is the way the system was set up. I say pay your fair free share enterprise. of taxes. Yeah, free enterprise. Do, do the smartest thing you can and surround yourself with the smartest people you can. In